a title is a, not a joke. This is the end of the dream part. Now, before you click off, unsubscribe, dislike every one of my videos for the next 10 years, let me explain a few things. I'm sure everybody knows what the dream park is. We started this like five months ago, and we have done a lot. But I haven't made an episode in like a, a month, and before then, it was another month. And I just don't have the motivation to make another episode. I know I really wanted this to be the park. The park since 2021 that I've actually finished. But as you can see, it's not. Which kind of sucks, but I don't have the motivation to create the dream park videos at the moment. That doesn't mean that I will never have the motivation to do a building your park series again. I absolutely loved every episode of making this dream park. I just want to thank every single one of you. Even if you watched just one episode, or maybe even the entire series, if you did. Thank you. It really means so much that you guys were so invested in it as much as I was. But yeah, I just don't have the motivation to work on the dream park at the moment. And it doesn't make sense to just pick it up a month later, or since the last episode, it'll probably be like two months or three months. That just doesn't make sense. And I do know that I will start another building your park series. Whatever that might be. Whether it's a dream park, a movie park, Clearside Valley Park, or maybe something completely new. Just not for a while. And well, in the meantime, I have something pretty freaking big to announce. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's not all bad news, guys. Because I'm going to be starting a brand new series of the Not Me Hour, my podcast. If you don't know, a year ago, I started this brand new podcast called the Not Me Hour. We did a few episodes, but I'm bringing it back. I'm not just saying that. I've lined up so many cool, fantastic guests to come on the show. We're going to talk about the behind the scenes of their videos, how they truly feel about Theme Park Tycoon 2, their own videos, their series, and hilarious moments that they've told absolutely no one. <laughs> I'm so hyped for it, guys. New episodes begin this Friday, the 25th of October, at 3 p.m. BST. That is every Friday, 3 p.m. BST. I genuinely can't wait to show you guys. But that. yeah, that's the end of the Dream Park. I'm starting a podcast. I'm definitely going to begin another Building Your Park series at some point in the future. I'm, I mean, I'm going to be honest here. When I was making the decision to end the Dream Park, I was already thinking about some cool things we could do for our next Building Your Park series. Destiny, what are you doing? You're dancing on a bird! Oh, my days. Now, actually, you're probably wondering, okay, what's going to happen to all of the member statues right here? Because if you didn't know, if you become a member, you get your statue in the Dream Park. So if the Dream Park ending, what does that mean? Well, the statues are going to stay They're there. They're not going to get deleted. But we aren't going to be adding any more statues to the Dream Park. I do apologize. But whenever we start the brand new park, you'll 100% be able to add your statues in it. You can also have your statues in the podcast. But you can see right here in the audience, there's a whole bunch of statues. Which we can replace with your statues. So you still get your statue in my park. But here we have it, the Dream Park. Let's take one final look around the entire park. Say goodbye to it. And also just look back at everything because it has been a while since I've loaded up this park. I can't lie. First of all, we have the entrance. Uh, this sucks. I'm, I can't lie. If it wasn't for the Polar Express right dab in the middle of it, it would be the worst entrance I've ever made. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's very uh, bland. I don't mind. I, I, actually, I, I quite like the tunnels. I just think it just looks very flat. I, I don't know how I could have done it differently. Maybe just custom bricks. Could have uh, like changed it all up completely. And yeah, I really had no idea what I was doing because I kind of suck at entrances. But the Polar Express though is sick. I absolutely love this. So yeah, if it wasn't for the Polar Express, <laughs> this entrance would not look as great. <laughs> and on the other side, we just have a whole bunch of cameras. We also got the Mali Boomer statue, no way. How long ago did he place this? <laughs> 152 days ago. Oh my days, that's, that's so old. And then we have the wasteland area, the wooden coaster, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the terrain though, though is so weird. I think I should have just done this sort of like flash thing throughout the entire canyon. Because this like little mushroom overhang does thing does not look great. Or at least when you try and transition the two, bro. But I mean, below that you have this mine entrance, which I think looks really cool. Oh yeah, we got guests on our ride. We made it so this ride is actually hooked up to the money farm, as you can see. Which means the guests can ride it. Guys, that's a little I 100% recommend that if you have yeah, a, 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 a non-guest accessible park. I actually quite like this. I mean, that's a lot of ribs, but this dinosaur, I, I think it's really cool. I never tried anything like it at the time. I definitely think it's very lopsided. The amount of cylinders there compared to this side. <laughs> there was a lot of learning to do with the dream park because I think before then, I, I hadn't built a park for like a year or two. Really? Two years? Oh my day. But even so, I still love this park. Look at this snake. Yeah, this part of the snake, like right here. I really the like The rest of it is a bit wonky. I can't can't lie like this, like these bulge bits. Yeah. This just looks, I mean, pretty odd. I can't lie. And of course, the wooden coaster. Guys, if you want to check the POVs out for this, I'll leave the links in the description. Oh, these danger signs. I absolutely yeah. love these danger signs. They're so simple. Oh, they're just like about them. That I really like. But then as you exit the wasteland area, there's actually a carousel. The wasteland roundup. I forgot that's what it's called. First time I've actually tried to theme a flat ride, and I think <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Best flat ride I've ever built. Uh, I mean, it's the only flat ride I've ever built, but you know. I really like it. And you have 
have the stage. There we go, the fireworks show. And yeah, there was supposed to be like a drum kit and everything, but I deleted the drum kit on accident. This, of course, is the Not Me Talent Show stage. And here are all your lovely statues. Oh, wow. We didn't even come up with a name for this ride. This is the Winter and Diesel Punk themed ride. Shame that we didn't come up with a name with it. You guys suggested so many names. I couldn't pick one. There's also this mountain right here, which you guys haven't seen yet. And that's because, well, I recorded this uh, a month ago. This is supposed to be episode 21. It was supposed to be a massive one, you can tell by the massive mountain. I still have all the footage for it, I just haven't edited it. I haven't finished it. I do really like these buildings though, which one has to be my favourite? I mean, all of them together make it look so good, but I definitely like, love these Saw 4, 3. I actually got a gift shop here, the first time I've ever built a gift shop. There's a lot of firsts in this series. We just didn't do this part, okay. In here you have the massive, uh, I, I, what do we call this guy? The Yeti Sasquatch Killer man 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 Machine. But this cave is sick. All the stalactite stalagmites, very cool. But we can't forget to mention Cat Mountain itself. Just insane this mountain is. I've I've never tried to build a proper mountain. Of course, we have the, the wasteland area, but it's not a mountain. It was really, really difficult to try and get this on, you know, on point. And I like to think I did. There are some bits here and there which are a bit wonky. But so is anything when you're doing it for the first time. I mean, come on. It's just insane how this looks. <laughs> it is pretty sad seeing it go. I can't lie. But yeah, that was the dream part. Thank you guys so I can't I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for sticking by me. Throughout this series. This, it's just crazy. The support on the series was mental. But this does not mean that I'm not going to stop uploading videos. This is not the end of the channel. It's just the end of the dream part. Like I mentioned, I've got my podcast every Friday at 3pm BST. And I'm 100% definitely going to be starting another part. What that is yet? I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've got some pretty cool stuff coming up in the next few weeks. And I mean some stuff that's not even podcast related. So keep an eye out for all of that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And see you.